Peace, what's going down? It's DJ Payne One. I want to talk to uh, the producers specifically, but pretty much anybody who's frustrated with building up a YouTube following. First and foremost, uh, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications because I'm uploading videos like this all week, every week. But I've been receiving a lot of comments and tweets lately from producers especially claiming that YouTube is completely dead. There's no way to penetrate that algorithm anymore. There's too much competition. You know, we can talk about best practices for YouTube in general, but I really want to zero in on increasing engagement. So these are my top 10 tips for increasing the engagement on your YouTube channel. Now these aren't tips that I took from some other website or anything like that. These are tips that I've actually used. Obviously everybody's different. Some people may be putting out content that, that nobody actually wants. So, um, you know, adhering to these tips probably won't result in major gains, but they're working for many people, myself included. So I wanted to share them. You can try them out and I wish you much success. So let's jump into these tips. Tip number one, it may seem obvious, but it's, it's really not, believe it or not. Um, if you're a producer, upload good beats to YouTube. All right, upload the best beats, not throwaways. I mean, you have to compete, and there are people uploading amazing beats on YouTube. And if you're not ready to match or exceed their quality, you're gonna be at a major disadvantage. And I hear a lot of producers saying, well, I'm just gonna upload my throwaways online and I'm gonna keep my, my way better beats for industry placements. And maybe they don't even have placements, but that's the type of mentality that's, that's gonna hold you back from actually building up a, a, a following on YouTube. Because if you're uploading mediocre beats all the time, people are gonna know and they're less likely and they're less likely to subscribe or purchase the beats. Tip number two, find a niche for yourself. Uh, you know, what are you good at? Niche producers are winning. Cash Money AP did it with Young Thug type beats. Dream Life does it with Boom Bat beats. Uh, 30 Hertz does it with R&B. But I hear so many producers saying, you know, I, I don't know what kind of type beats to upload that people are gonna wanna hear. I, I wanna sell beats, but I don't know what to upload. Number one, that's because they think type beats are just remakes or bites of existing styles. And two, it's a bad way of looking at the at the production landscape because you're not basing your content on your talents, right? I tried to upload a variety. I still upload a variety here and there, but then I realized the type of beat that people like from me tends to be the soulful, often sample-based sound. I started uploading those, um, and that was actually Dream Life that gave me that, that bit of advice. Shout out to him. Guess what? It started working. People started coming to me because they liked that style, and that was the style they expected from me. I didn't, I didn't want to be another one of those producers that just uploads the same old, genres and, and subgenres of beats that everybody else is doing because realistically I can't compete with everybody else I have to carve my own space out tip number three regular uploads on the same days every week don't stop I mean a major reason people subscribe to a channel is because they want to be alerted when new content is uploaded if you're not uploading new content why would people subscribe to you and once you build up that trust once you once you build up that consistency if you break that consistency, you're gonna lose a lot of engagement. Trust me, people will leave and the YouTube algorithm will punish you. Number four, this is hugely important, keyword research. Do it. Stop with the Drake type beats if you don't already have a huge following on YouTube. Why? Again, because of competition and a lot of people get disgruntled because there's so much competition, but they're not trying to cut through the noise and carve their own niche, as I said earlier. They're just trying to make videos that everybody's making with these highly competitive keywords. And it's way harder to rank these days than you know when people first started uploading beats to YouTube. YouTube's algorithm has changed and way more producers are, are uploading beats. So you could either be intimidated by the competition or you could be inspired to compete. And uh, you know the person with the most knowledge and the niche and the best product will be the winner. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I use TubeBuddy and it's, I'm just using the free version. You can, you can download this for free. I'm just gonna show you two videos. This first one, you can see that my keywords are ranking fairly highly. It's not just for, for B videos either, you know, it's, it's for my, um, my, my tutorial videos, my music business videos. This, this wasn't an accident. This comes from keyword research. So with TubeBuddy, and there are hundreds of programs that do this, you just have to find one that you like. You can actually check the competition on a keyword. Maybe this is obvious to some people, it's not to everybody. TubeBuddy will tell you whether or not they suggest using a certain keyword. All you have to do is spend a few minutes researching the keywords that you think you might want to use for a video that you're about to upload. TubeBuddy will give it a score. So if people are searching for a, a certain keyword a lot, but there are a lot of results, that's a lot of competition. You might not want to use that. But if people are searching for a keyword and the competition is low, which means not everybody is uploading videos with that keyword, then it'll, it'll get a high score 
and that's a keyword that you'll want to focus on. So learn more about keyword research. There are lots of resources out there. Number five, the first two sentences in your video's description are what people first see when your video comes up in the search results. So make those sentences count. Number six, ask for subscribers, point blank. I did it at the beginning of this video. Some people do it with animations. Uh, some people use plain text, some use end screens, but do it. You know, people need reminders. If you're not asking them to do something, it might slip their mind. Number seven, elicit engagement explicitly. Ask questions in the video, something like, you know, leave a comment and share some of your YouTube engagement tips, which you actually should do, because I'm curious to hear them. You can leave questions in the comments section. You can ask people in the comments section to uh, thumbs up the video. And make sure if you're leaving a comment on your own video that you pin that comment. Why? Because videos with more comments, videos with more likes are prioritized in YouTube's algorithm. Your search rank increases. Number eight interact with commenters replying to comments when you receive them encourages others to do the same because it shows that you actually care and you actually appreciate receiving comments and as i said just now more comments means a higher ranking i remember um at, at south by i believe it was cash money ap shared that when he first started uploading beats to youtube he would reply to every single comment obviously he can't do that now but it goes to show you that interacting with your supporters even if you only have a few really does go a long way number nine contests i mean look at what producers like kato on the track do he might hold a, a weekly contest that encourages people to subscribe in order to win free beats it's an idea i stole from him he might host a large contest like the no sucker mcs where the winners get flown down to atlanta and he started small with these contests but you know you got to be creative we're in a creative field so find a way to get people to engage and finally number 10 adapts YouTube is changing constantly. Keep track of those changes. Keep abreast of all the new features. Uh, if the algorithm changes, make sure that you're practicing the best practices so that your videos aren't getting buried because of the algorithm. So hope these tips help. Try them out for yourselves, adapt them, make them make sense with your brand. And don't be intimidated by all the, the competition out there. If you have the good content and you have the know-how to cut through the noise, you will. So much success to you, peace.